All right, it's time to see what all the hype's about. What is up, League fans? Welcome back to my channel. So every weekend I like to review the brand new movie or show on streaming, and this weekend we're doing something just a tad bit different. I have never reviewed anything on Broadway before. I have never seen Hamilton. One, just because I've never had the opportunity, but two, I honestly didn't know, and I know I'm going to get some pushback for this, I didn't know if it was going to be something for me or not. And we'll talk about it here in just a second, but today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on my first time watching Hamilton, uh, how it played in movie form, and whether or not I would recommend this for you all to watch. So this is the real life story of one of America's foremost founding fathers and first secretary of the treasury, Alexander Hamilton. This was filmed in front of a live Broadway audience from the Richard Rogers Theater with the original Broadway cast. Okay, first of all, I had no clue Jonathan Groff was a part of Hamilton. He pops up as King George, is absolutely hilarious in the show. I know him from Mindhunter, but my goodness, he was incredible here. Everyone's incredible. Lin-Manuel Miranda, let's talk about this guy really quick. Just uh, the man, the myth, the legend, and the majority, well, pretty much everyone, knows him from Hamilton. I know him from his projects after Hamilton, uh, but I do recognize the fact that everyone loves him for this specific reason. Now I see why. And this goes as a general praise, but not a note missed, not a beat skipped Everyone, Lynn especially, but everyone was so on point with their voices and their movements. And the set design is beautiful. And we'll get into all of the technical aspects here in just a second. But how in the world? And I get it. Making a movie is a very difficult thing. And this is one of my first times reviewing something in the theater, a live performance like this in this form. This is so difficult to do and pull off and give a performance this magnificent all the way around. Not a step missed from anyone in the cast, and that's impressive. And I think a lot of that has to do with the casting here. Everyone is on point. David Dix, again, someone that I know, oh, he popped up in Wonder, blind spotting, of course. In the movie space, uh, the world that I'm living in, we know these actors from certain things, but obviously Hamilton is where he spawns, and playing multiple characters here, which is the case for plenty of these actors, uh, he is phenomenal, just so dynamic. I love his voice, first of all. But when he starts singing, but he carries himself so well, Anthony Ramos, another one, Renee Elise Goldsberry, fantastic as Angelica, Leslie Odom Jr. as Aaron Burr, Chris Jackson as George Washington. It's hard not to pick out each individual actor and praise them for their incredible performance because of how good and impactful they are. And let's talk about turning this musical into an actual movie. This is a difficult thing to do. And on that note, it's hard for me to compare this to other films that I've seen this year just because it's so different from a narrative standpoint, the way this film progresses and the way that it's told. And I think that's the best part of the movie. Stylistically, I would say it's easily one of the best and most dynamic things that I've watched this year in general, movie space, TV space, etc. But this film version highlights A, the original cast, B, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is behind all of this. He composed the book, the music, the lyrics. He plays the main character. He does it all. And his singing voice really lights up the room while you're watching, whether it's on a cell phone, I'm sure in the theater, on the big screen. This deals with the American Revolution. So a bit of history here. And obviously, we're not telling the most true of stories because did they actually go around and wrap things to each other? No, but I love the way that they wrote this, filling in some interesting historical gaps, but doing it in such a creative and stylistic way. Rapping is a difficult thing to do. Not only are they expressing the dialogue through rapping and singing and displaying not very modern information in a modern way, but they're having to remember every single word to every song. There's a moment when Davy Diggs is rapping, it seems, a million miles a minute. And how in the world do they manage to soak in all of this information and display it in this way for us to just thoroughly eat up and enjoy? It was so good. And from that standpoint, from a performance standpoint, 
it may be one of the best things I've seen in quite a while. But then, like I said, the way it comes together in movie form, it's great because we see everything that we need to see. We're highlighting certain characters that need to be highlighted, and we get to see all of the beautiful technical aspects and elements, whether it's the costume design, which I love. Do you see the colonists planning this revolution, donning their colorful, uh, yet slightly muted colors, their red coats? I mean, everything just stands out. And the songs themselves, I mean, sometimes they're grand scale and epic. The opening number, Alexander Hamilton, just awesome. And it's so interesting listening to this music because it's like, I've heard it before, whether it's a TV show or just maybe hearing it on the radio. I had no clue that the music would be this good. I knew it would be good, but I'm like, ah, it's not as good as people say it is. And usually, walking out of a musical, I'm like, I'm humming a tune here and there, maybe a few that I go back and listen to on YouTube. It's like every song. I can't point out a song that I didn't like, and maybe there were some that I didn't like as much as others, but every song had something different, whether it's Wait For It, that sense of intimacy, like I said, Alexander Hamilton, anytime King George was singing and then doing something silly that would make the crowd laugh, and it's the balance of uh, comedy and drama and heartbreak at points, the storyline between Alexander Hamilton uh, and his wife and their child is especially impactful, and when that moment hits later on, Oh my goodness, you don't know how emotionally invested you are until there are genuine stakes. And there are stakes all throughout, but you feel that when those impactful moments hit. And to compare this to other musicals such as Fiddler on the Roof and West Side Story and Cats... Which I've never seen the musical, just the movie. Probably not very fair to that source material. It's just hard to compare because this is just so different. It is something that will stand the test of time, in my opinion. It's hard to compare it to other movies this year. I'm not used to reviewing things like this. Um, but in terms of musicals that I've seen, I mean, this, this could be the best one I've ever seen. Seriously, it's that good. So in terms of scoring this thing, again, I'm normally not a guy who responds to musicals like this, but I have to go a 9.5 out of 10, a 95% uh, for Hamilton. Maybe a few moments that made it feel longer than it needed to be, but it's really hard to critique this show. I mean, everything about it is just different. The fact that this is on Disney Plus for everyone to check out right now is really cool, and I would recommend this to everyone fans of music fans of musicals fans of movies in general uh if you want to watch something that stands out i recommend hamilton lin-manuel miranda you're uh, you're pretty good at what you do thank you guys so much for watching this video stay tuned more things to come this weekend a lot of content dropped therefore there are a lot of videos be sure to go check out all of my videos leave them a thumbs up button if you appreciate them and you'd like to see more and i'm gonna go sing some songs <laughs>